In this video, we're going to attempt to investigate what are called consecutive numbers. Now, consecutive numbers are numbers that are basically in order. For example, you might consider the consecutive numbers 5, 6, 7, 8. Those are consecutive numbers. And what I want to look at really quick is the space between these numbers. To go from 5 to 6, really what we have to do is add 1 to the 5. The space is 1. Then if we go from 5 to the next number, 5 to 7, the space is now 2. And we can keep going and go from 5 to 8, and the space is now 3. So once we have the first number, we can add 1, add 2, add 3, add 4, and we can find the numbers. When we're working with consecutive number problems, we don't usually know what the first number is, so we'll represent it with the variable x. But what we do know is because the space is 1, we're going to get the second number is 1 more than x. That's that first jump in green. The third number, then, we have to add 2 to the x, and then it will be x plus 3, x plus 4, however many problems we have. So in this first example where we're asked to find three consecutive integers whose sum is 543, we simply say, well, the first number is x, the second number is x plus 1, and the third number, they said there's 3, is x plus 2. Consecutive numbers are one after the other. And the sum, sum means we're adding, the sum is 543. So if I add these together, it should equal that 543. Well, we've got 3x's coming straight down, adding like terms. 2 plus 1, adding like terms, gives us 3. And we now have an equation we can solve to find our solution. Subtract 3 from both sides. 3x equals 540, and finally, divide both sides by 3 to get our final answer for x. 3 goes into 54 18 times, so 540, 180 times. Now, we want to be careful. We were asked to find the three consecutive numbers. We've only found x. We need to make sure we find the actual solution. The first number is x or 180, so we know the first number is 180. The second number is x plus 1, or 180 plus 1, which we know is 181. And the third number is 180 plus 2, giving us our third number, 182. We have three consecutive numbers, 180, 181, 182. Their sum is 543. Let's take a look at one more problem that has consecutive integers in it. Here, we're asked to find four consecutive integers whose sum is negative 222. So we don't know the first one, so we'll call that x. The second one, moving over 1 on the number line, is x plus 1. The third, x plus 2. And finally, the fourth, because we said there were four this time, is x plus 3. Those are the four numbers who have a sum, means they add 2, negative 222. So if we add all these together, we should get negative 222 for our final solution. Let's see what we have. x plus x plus x plus x going down, we've got 4 x's. Plus, combining like terms, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. And then we can start solving from here. Subtract 6 from both sides. 4x equals negative 228. And finally, dividing both sides by 4 gives us x is equal to negative 57. But does that answer our question? Not yet. We're asking for the four consecutive integers. We've only found the first, which is x, negative 57. 
So the first one's negative 57. The second one, and you could almost do this without doing the algebra, negative 57 plus 1 is negative 56. Make sure we're counting up, not down. Adding 2, negative 57 plus 2 is negative 55. And adding 3, negative 57 plus 3 is negative 54. And these are our four consecutive integers who have a sum of negative 222.